Hey guys, it's Todd Gaines coming at you with another movie review. Today I'm reviewing The Disaster Artist, a film I just saw at the movie theater. The Disaster Artist stars James Franco and it's also directed by James Franco. And James Franco plays the eccentric Tommy Wazoo. And The Disaster Artist is a retelling of of how Tommy Wiseau and his friend Greg Santero created what's now known as one of the most awfully awful movies of all time, the 2003 cult classic, The Room. Guys, I was cracking up all through this movie. James Franco becomes Tommy Wiseau. James Franco's throwing a football like he's Tommy. He's saying, oh, hi, like he's Tommy. And he becomes Tommy in every single way that you, it, that you almost have to just stop yourself and say, look, this is not Tommy Wiseau on the screen. This is James Franco. James Franco deserves any award that he's nominated for. I would love to see him win, you know, some high praise. I have a feeling though that he'll probably be nominated for rewards but probably lose out I want to compare it to probably uh, Mickey Rourke and the wrestler the year he should have won but Sean Penn won instead for milk I, I, I just I truly believe that James Franco gives one of the best acting performances ever and how ironic that the disaster artist is such a fabulous film based on one of the worst films. One of my absolute favorite aspects of the movie is the the time and attention they took in reshooting the room, the hand gestures, the wardrobes, the scenes almost play out shot for shot. There's some things that are different from the room such as you don't see the horrid dubbing that you saw in the room when they're reshooting it as the disaster artist. Um, there's also some stories that were left out that happened but are not shown in the disaster artist because I think they just wanted to focus on the relationship between Tommy and Greg and what a just a fantastic job of having James Franco play Tommy and Dave Franco play Greg because this is almost a story about friends who are like brothers and what better way it is to have brothers play play these parts you also have you know tons of celebrity cameos and actors such as Seth Rogen and you know minor minor major roles um, you know I mean about 98% of this movie is just laugh out funny there's a couple scenes that just make you go ouch especially uh a scene with um, James Franco freaking out as as he's about to film that that infamous ass wiggle sex scene. You know that that was kind of a uh, that was not a like a fun watch, but for the most part, this movie is is probably the funniest movie I've seen in a very very long time. It this movie is definitely gonna be high on my list of favorite films of the year, and I really can't praise this movie enough guys this was a short review I mean I had had a great time with it I just want to just wish all you guys just a, just a great holiday season and you know I just ask you guys you know this is this this Todd Gaines Talks film is a grassroots effort you know if I ask you just just to tell one person about this channel you know tell tell one friend you know spread the word you know I'm, I'm enjoying doing these reviews and I thank each and every one of you for tuning into my channel, for supporting my channel. And so this is Ty Gaines of Ty Gaines Talks Film signing out.